This is Dr. Laith Jazrawi, Professor of Orthopedic Surgery at NYU Langone and Chief of Sports Medicine, presenting our technique of a meniscus root repair with a centralization stitch for a chronic meniscus root avulsion. Patient is a 54-year-old healthy and active female. She's had an inability to walk pain-free for the past two months after she had two minor falls on her knee. Physical exam is consistent with a medial meniscus root avulsion with medial joint line pain and medial tibial plateau pain and a positive McMurray test. Past medical history is non-contributory. MRI imaging demonstrates the classic findings of a root tear avulsion at the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. Coronal images demonstrate obvious extrusion. No varus alignment. So in terms of the decision-making process, she's an active, healthy female with minimal degeneration. So the root repair is indicated, but the transtibial pullout technique is successful. But with meniscus extrusion, especially when it's chronic, it can be difficult to get the meniscus reduced back into its normal position. And there's evidence to suggest in the literature that meniscus extrusion can lead to suboptimal outcomes. Recent biomechanical evidence suggests the use of a centralization stitch can help restore contact pressures and decrease that extrusion that can develop over time. Here's the meniscus root avulsion. So at this point, because it's chronic, we'll use a bank art elevator to elevate at the meniscotibial junction and elevating essentially the meniscotibial ligaments. The fiber tack is inserted, and this is going to be our centralization stitch. This is placed adjacent to the articular surface. We then pass the repair stitch through the meniscus and then we also have to place a shuttling stitch to then place this repair stitch in a mattress fashion. After this has been passed, we're then able to shuttle that suture through the locking mechanism, which then reduces the meniscus to the plateau. Then we proceed with our root repair and we place these locking stitches and these are O sutures. We place three of them and these are passed with a scorpion, and then we then place the uh, guide for the meniscus root repair. The flip cutter is then placed, and this is typically either five or six millimeters, and then we drill back for a depth of 15 millimeters. After this is done, we then place a passing stitch, which is then utilized to shuttle all three sutures through the uh, tibial tunnel. At this point, we then complete the tightening of the uh, centralization stitch and cut it. And then we use a swivel lock, which is then impacted with the knee in full extension to secure the root. And here's the final pictures demonstrating excellent tension and nice centralization. We then perform a microfracture technique to allow mesenchymal cells to help with the healing.